now we are going to discuss question number 6.10 and in this question it is given to you a body is moving with uh, a body is moving unidirectionally under the influence of a source of constant power it means power that is power delivered that is given to you constant its displacement in time t is proportional to clear okay so now we can say a body is moving unidirectionally under the influence of a source of constant power clear so if i apply here work energy theorem because our objective in this question is to find displacement as a function of time for that one we need velocity clear so i am actually applying here work energy theorem so according to work energy theorem i can say net work this should be equal to change in kinetic energy clear we can say final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy okay net work done so i can say net work done so we can also write this is p multiply t power multiply time clear and we can say let's suppose any body that is starting from rest i am assuming so when body is starting from rest i can say this is half of mv square final kinetic energy and initial kinetic energy we have zero clear so from here i can write like this v square this is given by 2 pt divided by m clear so i can say value of v this is given by under root of uh, this is given by under root of twice pt divided by m clear so v is given by v is given by under root of 2 pt by m clear so i can now write like this v v equal to what this is dx by dt clear v is dx by dt clear and we can see this is under root of we can see this is under root of twice pt divided by m clear so now we can also write like this dx this is equal to under root of i am taking 2 p by m constant outside and i can say this t to the power half and multiplied with dt clear so if i integrate both side i can see let's support displacement we have x and under root 2 p by m clear and t to the power half so what is integration of t to the power half this is t to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 clear to everyone so now we can see just now we can see value of x we can uh, a value of x this is equal to under root of 2p by m and multiplied with 2 by 3 and we can see this is t to the power 3 by 2 clear t to the power 3 by 2 clear so we can say displacement it is directly proportional to 3 by 2 power of a time clear so now we can say which option is correct directly we can say option number 3 this is correct clear so like this we can calculate displacement as a function of time when power is a constant clear 